Good afternoon, enthusiasts. Check this out. I am Joy, the CBG lady, and I told you we would get to this point. I have made the neck for my second build. Yes, we are already on number two, and it's much more intricate than the last. If you didn't see the last one, go back two videos and um, watch the whole thing there. All right, check it out. I'm so proud of this. Booyah! Bam, look at that. All right, my five-year-old said this looks like a rifle, and it kind of does. Maybe I'll make him a slingshot gun. Well, no, maybe I won't do that. All right, so look, the first thing that I did was I notched out this area here. So this um, board is three quarter inches thick. And you can see I notched out about half of that here. So I cut all that out. This is the space that's gonna fit under the cigar box lid. And I'll fit those two pieces together just to show you. I took this extra piece, slapped that on the bottom with some wood glue, clamped it for 30 minutes. It was fully set after 24 hours. And I've got a trusty new table saw. I got the Win tabletop scroll saw, and it has taken me out of the stone ages of woodworking. It has saved me so much time, energy, and probably even, even arthritis here soon. Um, you know what? Look, let me show you just how it is real quick. Look at that baby right there. Ha <laughs> ha. So I'll be working on that later today. So what I did here, you see how I've got this little square in there? What I did was actually messed up here because I cut the notch a little bit too wide. That's gonna go under the lid. So I had to take another little block and just super glue it in right there. And um, now it fits pretty good. Now, this in here, this is notched out for our nut. That's going to go in later. And this is one of the, my favorite parts, one of my favorite features. You see how this is angled down right here? Both of these angles, I was able to cut these 45 degree angles very easily with the tabletop saw because the cast iron plate that you saw on you can actually turn it like that to 45 degrees and just make cuts up to that degree and everything in between. So I was able to also do that with this bottom piece of the headstock here. And all I did was this area that I cut out, I just took it, shaped it, and just slapped it on the bottom with more wood glue. All right, so that's the neck. I haven't put the fretboard on yet because I've actually got some tools here to where I can properly cut those at the correct scale and I haven't even put that together yet plus I'm still waiting on my fret scale template to come from Stumac. That's a um, cigar box guitar kind of uh, specialty online store. All right so the box. You can see I've notched out this end. That's for the thicker part of the neck. And this back part is for the base of the neck right here where we're going to be adding our strings. And I'll show you how this goes. So as you can see here, I've got the box. And this is how the neck's going to fit into there. We will take the small hole We'll go for the back. The deeper hole, which is gonna hold the um, thicker part of the neck, that'll be the front. Or right and left, if you will. We're gonna fit that down nice and snug. Now you don't want these holes cut too wide. You want them to be nice and snug when you put that neck in there. And as much measuring as I did, I still got the dimensions off just a little bit. 
like you can't actually tell i don't know if you can tell from right there but this hole is actually a little bit higher than the hole that i notched out on this side it's not a huge deal i don't think but uh see we'll close that down on the top and this is how it looks we'll just do it like that all right so we're gonna take a even thinner board this is what i'm gonna make the fret board out of and that is just gonna slap right onto the top right there so when this neck is done it's actually going to be four different pieces now my next order of business is to take this box and actually drill out some sound holes i just got in the mail um a hole saw drill set and all it is is just a saw wrapped in a circle you actually hook it up to a drill and we're going to drill out two holes and i'll probably do that here and here and we are back so as you can see here i've got two marks that i've measured about an inch and a half in from each of the uh, corners of where I'm gonna drill my holes. I've got our top nice and snug to a piece of uh, sacrificial wood here. We have got the hole saw ready to go. I did a test run on this with a piece of scrap wood, so take this sharp point and just kind of Just wiggle into that center spot. And the reason I'm doing this is so that when the drill starts going, it'll already have a nice little bed to drill into straight rather than wiggling around. And I've also put some blue painter's tape here in the hope that none of my other wood will splinter or suffer any damage around the hole. So, um, Oh man, this is the first time I've done this, guys, so here we go. Let's see what happens. And you want to make sure that you're going straight up and down. You know what? I think I need another piece of painter's tape. Because my whole saw was like right on the edge of one of these strips. Okay, perfect. All right, here goes nothing. sure how far I was going through so let's see oh man now here the proof is gonna be in the pudding oh oh man check it out that is a straight circle hole now see on the bottom side here see how the wood has kind of bowed inward as I sawed down that's why I'm sawing from the outside in, because you don't want the outside of the uh, cigar box to look like that. But let's take off the tape and see what the wood looks like on this side, because that's the, that's the true test. All right, so we got a bit of the sticker kind of uh, shredded around the hole. Now, I never did take the sticker off of this thing. I'll do that later when I get a uh, sharp razor and all that. But removing that sticker there, look. That is not too bad. That is not too bad at all. Let me try to uh, zoom out a little bit. Check it out. Not bad. Okay, I am pleased with that. I will finish the other hole and 
and show you guys the end result when we're done. Cool. Wow, you guys. I am more than pleased with my new hole saw drill bit set. Check out these holes. Not too shabby. Look at that. What I've done is I took a piece of fine grit sandpaper and I just cleaned out these uh, edges here. Especially you don't want any splinters or shards definitely poking out because as you are uh, strumming, you know, you could cut yourself. Probably wouldn't hurt too bad, but still. Man, look at that. Very good. Now for my first job ever, and first time even using a, um, a whole drill bit, very impressed. Got a kit of 11 pieces on Amazon for about 10 bucks. So, I didn't bother to clean off this uh, sticker, all the sticker residue quite yet. I will take care of that later. And my next step on this is probably just going to be well, I still need to make the fretboard because I want this to be a fretted uh, CBG and I've never put frets in before. I've got all the tools pretty much. Um, the last thing that I need will get here on Monday. So the next video will entail the finishing of the neck and I'm also going to take a wood rasp and I'm going to round out this backside here just so that it will feel more comfortable to play. It doesn't feel bad right now, but you know, the, the roundness is just, you know, a little softer and more smooth. So at any rate, CBG lady, Joy, another step down, another first. If you have done anything that's a first, um, let me know. What were your successes? What did you have to change? Because uh, coming from a background of building, one of the biggest things that I learned is that, you know, no matter what the job is, you have to actually do it to figure out all those little tips and tricks that are just never in the manual or never in the uh, standard operating procedure. And there are just like a million of those little things. And I've already found about at least, at least half a dozen by doing this guitar build. And that probably probably would actually be a good idea for a video. All the little tips and tricks that you don't really know until you do it. I'm Joy, the CBG lady. I can't imagine that anyone is having as much fun with this than I am, but I sincerely hope you do. If you have not liked and subscribed, smash the button. It'll help off the channel. And, uh, or at least just leave me a comment or a tip. Something I can do better. Something you might want to see. All right, well, CBG lady, Joy, I'll see you next time.